Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport here in San Diego, also known as ScooterWest.com for all things Vespa here in North America. Today I'm going to do a quick video of an overview of all the specialty tools for your vintage Vespa. I'm going to start out with the basic tools that are quintessential tools that you want to have on you when you're out riding your scooter, all the way up to specialty tools that you'd use only in a restoration or specific tools just for certain models. All right, let's jump right into this. All right, starting out with just a basic toolkit. When the vintage Vespas were manufactured new, they included a basic toolkit, included things such as a screwdriver, wrenches, and spark plug socket. It's enough to do some basic repairs like change a spare tire. Uh, now that these scooters are quite old, you may not have the original toolkit. I'd recommend this part, it's tool, Kit is the part number and it comes in a nice vinyl Velcro pouch and Incl includes all the basic tools that would have originally been included with any of the vintage Vespas when they were new. You got a seven to eight millimeter wrench. That's for your cable clamps and cable adjusters. You got a 10, 11 millimeter wrench. That's ideal for your rear brake adjuster on any vintage Vespa. A small Tommy bar, that's for turning this pipe looking object right here which has both a 13-16 spark plug socket and a 13 millimeter socket for taking the wheel bolts off most vintage Vespas. Also includes a handle with a flat and Phillips screwdriver. So this would be a good starting point if you don't have any tools with your vintage Vespa. Another important tool to carry with your vintage Vespa is tool T and it's a T-handle tool that's specific for a large frame Vespa. It's got a 13 millimeter socket Again, the 1316 spark plug socket, and on this end, 11 millimeter. A lot of the fasteners on Vespas have 11 millimeter heads, so this works out quite well for doing some basic repairs, such as if you just need to change a spark plug or swap out a spare tire. And onto the small frame version, Tool T-SF. Pretty much the same identical T-handle tool, but modified for the small frame. They have limited access for removing the spark plug this is the, the tool to have to remove the spark plug on a small frame, along with the 13 and 11 for removing your wheels. With most vintage Vespas, if you're gonna go on long trips, it's always ideal to have an extra spark plug in the event you completely flood the engine out with fuel or just fouls out from the carbon deposits, typical of a two-stroke engine. Good way to hold those spark plugs is tool spark, and it's a handy little carrying case that you could put spark plugs in there, a pair of spark plugs. Works a lot better than the included boxes with the spark plugs. You could store the plugs in there. They could bounce around in your um, glove box without damaging the tips on them. This is a quintessential tool if you need to remove the flywheel to gain access to the points on a P-Series Vespa. Pretty much any Vespa that's manufactured after 1978 would use this style polar and that could be the ET3 small frame, any of the P-range Vespas. And part number on this is Tool Fly. It's just a standard flywheel puller that fits most Vespas from the 80s, 70s, and on. Sometimes if you're dealing with a scooter that's out of India, there's also a unique flywheel puller that's Tool Fly 27 that pulls off some of the Indian flywheels. Scooters prior to the 70s usually used a circlip to pop the, um, the flywheel off. You may want to order extra circlips that hold the center nut and the nut backs off and that's what pops the flywheel on those older ones. It's a lot trickier than these tools. These work very well, which is more standard in with what most motorcycles use. This is a, quite a handy tool that's carry over from the bicycle industry. Most of the control cables on the Vespa just have cable clamps and you need to pull the cable tight in order to tighten the clamp down with that seven millimeter or eight millimeter wrench. This is called a third or a fourth hand tool. Third hand usually doesn't have an automatic locking operation. The fourth hand, which is this tool, um, is what it does is as a ratchet and it will lock the cable in place and you can make the necessary adjustment on the cable clamp and it pulls the cable tight. So if you're changing out the shift cables, clutch cable, or any of the brake cables, this is a tool that's key 
to changing out those cables and making the necessary adjustments and taking out the slack when you're replacing a cable. Part number on this is tool cable. Maybe a good tool also to have with you on the scooter along with the replacement inner cables. On my own personal Vespa, I have a clutch, a brake, and a shift and a throttle cable on me at any time. They take very little space in your glove box. And always nice to have extra cables in the event they break on the road. Say you have a slipping clutch on a large frame Vespa. That's pretty much all Vespas from 1959 on vintage Vespas that is, with the shifting, um, excludes the small frame. So here's the three quintessential tools to overhaul in a large frame vintage Vespa clutch. First of all, they use a star shaped nut. You'll need this tool, tool CN, to remove that center nut on most large frame clutches. Once you have the clutch out, you're gonna need a tool to compress the clutch. And this works on most vintage Vespa clutches. So small frame, large frame, um, any of the very, uh, the handlebar bikes, the Farabasos, is what this does. It goes through the whole entire clutch pack. You tighten this nut and you're able to compress the clutch, pull the clip out and disassemble the clutch. Tool CH is patterned after an original Vespa tool. Is what this does is it hooks onto the engine and it allows you to lock up the clutch so you can disassemble the nut in the center. To see how this tool is used, you can watch our three-part video on overhauling the P PX125 motor and it shows use of this tool here. This tool will slacken the nut on the front fork. Say you need to dismantle the fork to change the steering column lock or you're doing a restoration and need to remove the fork or you got a bent fork. This tool engages in the four prong specialty nuts that are found on the top part of the fork and will dismantle the front fork on pretty much all vintage Vespas. Tool SN, this part is also a carryover onto the modern Vespas as well. If you need to replace the petcock or fuel tap on your fuel tank, you're gonna need this tool. Most large frame and small frame Vespas use this style, which is the straight fuel tap tool and it's got a crow's foot style uh, open end on there that will grasp the nut that's on the top of the fuel tap. This is a must if you're trying to remove that fuel tap. Tool FT, and alternatively, if you're overhauling the fuel tap on a rally or super sport model, you'll need this specialty L style fuel tap tool. And it's got more of the 12 point style nut on there. We've made these in-house, patterned after the original Vespa tool. Part number on this is Tool FT1. Tool TI is a tire iron. It's a standard tool that you'd have if you're dealing with any type of tube type rim. It's the ideal tool for prying the tire off the rim. Again, pretty much all vintage Vespas have split rims and sometimes the tire can be stubborn getting off the rim. This is the type of tool you'd use to pry the tire off the rim. Tool TI. And I'd recommend a pair of them. If you watch my videos on making adjustments to your ignition timing and points, this is a tool you're gonna need. This is a, a timing wheel. I show how to use this tool in the video on adjusting your points. Part on this is Tool DW. Other important tools when you're doing ignition work is the spark plug stop, tool PS. This threads into the standard 14 millimeter spark plug. It makes a positive piston stop so you're able to find top dead center when you're setting up a degree wheel. Another important tool, a tool gap. When you're replacing your spark plug, you wanna set the gap on your spark, spark plugs, typically six to seven tenths of a millimeter on a vintage Vespa. This allows you to easily make that adjustment. Say you're troubleshooting ignition problem. This, this tool goes in place of your spark plug. You're able to kick over the scooter and check out the spark visually. You know, verify that you have a spark and it's adjustable so you could get a, a rough indication of the kilovolts of your spark. So it's marked with five, six, seven, and eight. And that's a rough 
indication of thousands of volts. So if, if it's only jumping a, the seven, you're getting about a 7,000 volt spark. Modern ignition systems are much higher, 10 or 15,000 volts. But pretty much with any of the vintage Vespas, you're gonna want a spark that's more than 5,000 volts when you're kicking over the, the engine to get it started. Oftentimes, you'll need a tool like this to troubleshoot a spark problem. You know, at idle, say it dies out, this would be an ideal tool. Part number on this is Tool ST, the spark, spark tester. Here's a handy tool if you're gonna reuse your existing cables without removing them from the frame and you wanna lubricate the inner cable. This part is tool lube, luber, tool luber, and it clamps onto the cable end with the inner cable. It has a rubber seal and you're able to take a straw from some type of lubricant and go right into one of these holes and it will pressurize the cable housing with spray lubricant to send lubricant all the way down the entire length of the cable. It's a pretty handy tool if you're just reusing your existing cables. Uh, scooter's been out of use for several years and all the lubricant in the cables have dried up and you have quite stiff action, for instance, on your throttle or shifting. Uh, sometimes with you know, cables like your brakes, sometimes you're just better off removing the inner cable and manually lubri lubricating it with grease, but this is an ideal tool to lubricate the cables while they're still in the scooter. On a vintage Vespa, the center stand and sometimes the muffler is retained with springs. This is a T-handle that has a hardened steel hook on it that can hook onto the end of a spring. So you could pull the spring and engage it into the center stand or to the frame onto the muffler. Part number on this is tool spring. It's a handy tool to have. A lot safer than using a pair of pliers, a vice grip, or a screwdriver to try to pry a spring in place. Pretty handy tool to have, inexpensive as well. So the basic tools you need when you're overhauling a Vespa, any of the vintage Vespa engines, is you'll need a flywheel puller if needed, and also any sort of clutch puller to pull the clutch off if you need to get that off the crankshaft or the um, secondary gear, for instance, on the um, small frames. In addition to those tools, I'd recommend this tool for extracting the wrist pin on a, the, the piston. You pull the circlips out, sometimes the wrist pins are quite stuck in the piston, either from carbon buildup on the ridge or it's just quite a low clearance tight fit. This tool will go right through the piston gudgeon pin, the wrist pin, and you unthread this T-handle and it will pull the pin right through. Part number on this is Tool P, pretty handy tool to have if you're overhauling the top end. Tool crank is quite an important tool for pulling the crankshaft into the main bearings on any vintage Vespa. It's pretty difficult to do that job without this tool. You can sometimes do it with a clutch. You definitely don't want to be hammering a crank back into the bearings. And I'll show you this tool set. It's patterned after the original Vespa tool been made for several years. Includes a threaded rod with a nut, a special tube here, and various adapters that thread onto the end of the uh, crankshaft. And so what you do is you set this whole jig up, you hold the T-handle and thread this nut, and it will use this threaded rod to pull the crankshaft into the engine cases and the bearings. Again, if you watch our full rebuild videos, it would cover use of this tool. Part number on this is tool crank. In a pinch, you need to uh, enlarge a jet to richen up. I would recommend grinding the numbers off the jet. Tool jet is a wire gauge jet drill set. And there's also tool jet dash chuck, which is a small chuck that will chuck up into a small drill. And you can carefully drill out a jet to enlarge it. For instance, you put a cylinder kit on the scooter, you may have some smaller jets, you can repurpose them by opening up the jets. So now on to some specialty tools that are purpose built for specific models or specific applications. I'll go through these rather quickly, starting with the reverse thread seven millimeter tap. So what this is used for is your shifting cross. Say you're having difficulty 
threading the shaft onto the shifting cross when changing it out. This is a specialized tap for chasing the threads on, that tap, on the shifting cross itself. Say you're changing the shifting cross on a small frame. They have a spring with a pair of balls for the detent that hold each of the gears that's integral into the dry shaft of the vintage Vespa. This pair of tools will hold the balls in place. This is patterned after the original Vespa tool from the 60s. And it's got a pair of aluminum blocks with a divot that holds the balls. And you're able to hold the whole contraption together while you slide the cross onto the shaft. Someday I'll do a small frame engine overhaul video and show use of this tool. Part number on this is tool SF cross. Castellated nut tool for mini vintage Vespas, specifically the GS and SS. They retain some of the, the, the bearings with a multi-tooth style retainer. You'll need a tool such as this. This was custom uh, machined out of a 32 millimeter socket. Part number on this is Tool Castle GS-SS. Another variation of the same tool for most vintage Vespas is Tool Castle. And this is specific on the output shaft, so where the hub mounts to the, um, to the engine, the axle. The rear axle bearing is retained by a nut that has that shape tool on it. Tool 63 is a four pin custom manufacturer tool for removing bearing retainers found on the 50s scooters. Tool CP is a puller specific for the small frame clutch. There's also a variation of this for the Vespa GS and SS to remove the clutch. Say you do a full restoration on your vintage Vespa and you want to replace the aluminum trim that's on the leg shield edge. You definitely need a tool like this, part number tool LST. Because what this is is a roller that you can crimp over the aluminum trim onto the edge of the leg shield. It takes a lot of work to get set up and get the trim to fit where it's going to roll right onto that that crimped edge on most vintage Vespa's leg shield. And this is the tool to have to do that. Job. So with all these uh, tools, you can look up the part number on YouTube or on our website to see specific photos or a video on how to use the tool and its specific application. Again, we haven't done videos on using this tool and some of the other specialty tools such as these, but many of the basic tools. Um, if you watch the engine overhaul video, it covers quite a few of the tools. Hope it helps everybody. Until next time, this is Robot here for Vespa Motorsport, ScooterWest.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Vespa Motorsport. Follow me on Instagram, Robot Vespa.